Funny Girl is so magical. It's the story of a comedian falling in love and finding herself. Funny Girl was something for me where I would go, oh, that's it. It's the great American musical. It's one of the best. I know Funny Girl from when I was a, a kid. I mean, a song like People or I'm the Greatest Star. These are songs that are just woven into your life. Funny Girl is going to bring everybody together just because everybody can hear something that they love in the music and then they can see something that they love in any one of the characters that they're going to see. Beanie. Beanie. Beanie Felstein. Everyone loves her and you can't help it. This is a character and this is a score and a story that I've loved as, as literally as long as I can remember. Like every normal three-year-old, I asked my mom if my birthday party could be Funny Girl themed. It's my first dream. Jane is a comic genius. She's frank, she's no nonsense, she's a total goofball. I have a really profound emotional connection to this show. In fact, if you go back into my history, it, it started with Funny Girl. Anytime I did well in my career, my mother, she would uh, leave me a message on my machine. Who taught her everything she knows? Which was just a wonderful thing that, you know, I get to sing that song on the Broadway stage in the first revival in 60 years, which is crazy. There is something very nerve wracking about doing a revival that is, is well known as Funny Girl. So it is finding the balance of staying true to the original production, but making it fresh. Hopefully it's better now, you know, it's the newer model car maybe, but it's still a Rolls Royce, you know? Oh my God, Ramin is an angel. He's suave and charming and the perfect Nick Arnstein. Everyone's been anticipating this for such a long time. I think Broadway, especially now, needs a show like this, wants a show like this, and wants this specific show. It's a love letter to the theater. There's a zillion scenes. We're always going from one place to the next. There are 157 costumes on stage in the course of an evening. Huge show-stopping tap numbers. Jared blew us away. Jared is one of the best tap dancers I think ever to exist. He's a true triple threat. What we're doing with tap dancing in the show hasn't been done in a while. We're gonna go a little deeper than just a falat ball change, falat ball change. Like rat tat tat, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for that number. It's not just a da dee da 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 dee da da. It'll be da boom da boom da boom ba ba da 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 boom. It's so grandiose and beautiful and lavish. The show being what it is is very New York. It's very iconic. There's not a wasted moment. Because of the work Harvey's been doing, Michael, the full creative team, it's a new version of this great, great classic. I love the material, I love the score, I love the story, I love Fanny Bryce. She's a trailblazer, nothing will stop her. There's a Fanny Bryce in everybody. No matter what happens, no matter you know what obstacles are in the way, we're not gonna let anything rain on our parade.